Hey, it's Monica with It's Just Sewing, and I love making pillowcases, but I really love it when they stand up over time. So today I want to show you how to make pillowcases with absolutely no raw edges showing at all. They'll all be tucked away, it's super easy, super fun, and they look really, really professional. So come with me and I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so to get started on my seamless pillowcase, what I want to do is I want to have one body of fabric that is 27 inches wide by 44 inches long, and that's this one, and then I've got my trim piece, and that is 44 inches wide by 9 inches long. And I already did this, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, trim piece and you're going to fold it in half, so now it's 4.5 inches wide by 44 inches long, and you're going to go ahead and iron it um, nice and pressed all the way down. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is take our lining, our trim piece, I'm going to put this off to the side, take our trim piece and lay it flat with your pretty side facing up or even the crease facing up, so that's a good way to know as well. And then we're going to take our body of fabric and put our pretty sides facing down and line it up with that top edge. And now I am going to take the body of the fabric and go ahead and start creating a little roll. I kind of think of it like sushi. You know, some people call this the burrito style, but I like sushi way more than I like burritos, so this works for me. Okay, so I've got that all rolled up, and the idea is that you want to make sure that this does not get too close to your edge because you don't want to sew any of this um, into your casing when we make it in just a moment. Okay, so now I'm bringing, do you see how I did that? I'm just bringing the back side of the fabric around, and now I have the three layers. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it all the way down. All right, so now that I have pinned my entire row uh, for my casing, what I want to do is go ahead and take it on over to my sewing machine, and we're going to sew it with, I would say, a nice generous seam allowance of maybe like five eighths. And so let's do that now. So now that your casing is all sewn up, you need to turn and pull all of your little inside bits out. And there you go. All of the seams are hidden inside of the casing, and so you've got a nice cleaned up band. Now let's learn how to complete the rest of the pillowcase so that you won't see any seams. So next thing is to create a French seam. What I need to do is actually make sure that my fabric completely lines up with one another before I start sewing. So I brought over my cutting mat, and what I'm going to do is bring, you know, just fold my pillowcase in half, just like I'm going to sew it later on, and make sure it's all lined up. I always think the most important area to make sure that it's lined up and flush is your um, top trim piece, because that's really the, where everybody looks. All right, so what I'm going to do is fold it flat and get all my creases out, get it nice and flat. If you want to take an iron to it at this point, that's always a good idea. And then I'm going to take this um, top part and I'm going to line it up with the raw edge at the opposite side of the pillowcase. Then I'm going to grab my trusty ruler and this is just my makeshift simple, easy, fuss-free way of doing things. But I'm going to go ahead and cut off all this excess trim so it is just ready to sew and I won't see any of the salvage. So here we go. Lovely. And this side is pretty clean and parallel with its opposite side, so I think we're ready to sew. So this part's counterintuitive. The first thing we're going to sew is we're actually going to put our, our wrong sides together and we are going to sew this outer edge through here and through here. Obviously not through here because nothing is exposed. There's no um, open seam over here. So we're going to go ahead and start, but we're going to start with a really, really small um, seam allowance and I would say about a quarter of an inch. If you can even do it smaller than a quarter of an inch, that's great. So let's go ahead and start by sewing the raw edges. Okay, now that I have sewn my raw edges um, with my pretty side or my right side showing, what I want to do is I actually want to take it over, we're going to flip it inside out, and let's clip this corner while we're at it. 
I'm going to clip that corner so it looks really nice and boxy. And then what I want to do is I want to turn it inside out because I'm going to take it over to my iron, open this up, and iron it really flat, really getting those seams nice and open. And then after I've done that, I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to make a new fold so that all of the raw edges underneath are pushed as far up to that seam as possible. And I am going to go do that and I'll meet you back here in a sec. Okay, so my edges are all ironed and they look really, really nice. And I took enough time and enough care to make sure that they were completely open before I ironed them flat. So you don't need any pins or anything like that. Now we're going to start up in our band area and we're going to start sewing here. You're going to want to backstitch here and when you pivot at the corner and go on down you're going to backstitch at this corner as well. And we're going to use a 5 8 seam allowance because that is a little bit wider and it will tuck all of those raw edges from the previous stitch um, into its little French seam. And that is how you hide it. Alright, so I'm all done with my final um, stitch line and let's turn it inside out and see how it looks. Okay, so how great is that? None of the raw edges are showing. Nothing is going to fray. Nothing is going to come unraveled in the wash. This pillowcase is going to last a lifetime and it's going to look absolutely spectacular. So keeping that little bit of attention to detail is such an important thing when you're making a gift like this or making it for yourself.